Welcome back. We are out in the garden. We have OSU Master Gardener Kenda Schwartz here with us. And you brought us uh, a weed or a plant, I guess, that most people consider as a weed, just a pest in their yard. Right. You think that there's more here? Absolutely. I'm okay. very passionate about, about this beautiful plant, uh, the incredible edible dandelion. It's, in my opinion, one of the most underappreciated yet nutrient dense <laughs> foods that we have available to us. Some actually consider it to be a superfood. Oh, wow. Okay. And as you mentioned, it has a history. It came by way of the Mayflower. The pilgrims brought it as a food source and for its medicinal properties. That's and incredible. Yeah. And shortly I'll talk more about the, the, the health benefits to humans. But first I want to say it is really important for our wildlife as well. Right. Yes. So I, uh, the seeds feed a multitude of small animals and songbirds. Even it's a natural fertilizer. It's long taproot, goes into the soil, breaks it up a little bit, pulls the nutrients to the surface. So oh, wow. you have a free and natural fertilizer in the dandelion. But most importantly, in my opinion, is the flower is a source of food for over 90 insects, including our precious bees. It's one of the first to open, right? Exactly. First pollinators. Okay. Yes, All right. exactly. Yeah. So when our blue orchard mason bees come out, of their cocoons. They're, they're really one of some of the first that come out of their cocoons. They are hungry and there's not a lot of blooming stuff around and the right. dandelion is a source for them. So I really encourage the viewers to keep some dandelion <laughs> right. unsprayed for the bees. Okay. But as far as human health goes, again, almost limitless benefits in my opinion. It's a multitude of minerals. Um, it's got a lot, the leaves, the greens, uh -huh. have a lot of vitamins, A, B complex, C, E, oh, wow. even uh, K in great abundance. It's a phytonutrient, phyto being the Greek word for plant, a plant nutrient. It's got, um, it's got fiber and protein. Really, it's such a great, and one little cup, 25 calories, has a lot of good nutrients for oh, you. Wow. Okay. So how do we eat this thing? Right. Well, because do you just pick it and munch on it? You can. You can? Yeah, okay. you absolutely can do that. Now, something I just want to make a, uh, I want to distinguish something. I was low on dandelions on my properties, uh, true dandelions, so I pulled these. These are mostly called false dandelions. Oh, okay. And uh, the way you can really tell the difference, and it's kind of hard because the leaves a little wilty here, but the leaf on the the leaf on the false dandelion also called the cat's ear, it's kind of hairy. Oh, okay. Whereas the leaf on the true dandelion is super I see smooth. That. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Still edible and okay. still loaded with good stuff, but I just wanted to make that distinction. If people go out and pull it and they're like, ah, oh, this thing is hairy, I can't handle right. it. Right, yeah. Then they've got the, they've pulled the cat's ear. Got it. So how do we eat it? First off, uh, it's it's a free food source. So go out and eat your dandelions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but most importantly, uh, uh, make sure you're eating dandelions greens that have not been sprayed. Right, absolutely. And by the way, I actually bought these at a market because I'm low on dandelion greens at home. Uh, you can also eat the flower of the dandelion. Okay. It's a kind of sort of sweet um, treat. I, I, I encourage people to eat dandelion greens that are kind of young and tender so that if the flower has not yet developed, they're going to be a little bit more tender, a little bit less bitter. But toss those things in salads, put them in smoothies, make juices out of them, or make pesto. Oh, awesome. And that's what I've done here. And uh, I've got all the ingredients. I understand that you're going to have the recipe for we this do. pesto. We do, yeah. We're putting it up online. OK. And so these are the ingredients. And this is the finished product. It's beautiful. Uh, and if you want a little bit later, you can have a nibble of OK. It. We'll I think I'm going to have to get a midday snack here little. in just a little bit. Okay. Our thanks to Kenda for joining us. <laughs> us today and always our OSU Master Gardeners so informed and so helpful you can contact your OSU Master Gardener by getting in touch with them with the numbers on your screen.